hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, then welcome back. So we are going to be doing your June mid-monthly reading. It's so going to go through now through the remainder of June. Everything that you guys need to know about the reading is going to be in the description box below. There is also a link to my online metaphysical shop as well as a discount code that is just for you guys in there as well if you want to check it out. Oh, I do have personals open and on sale right now for $25. Um, those are recorded video readings and you guys can ask up to three questions for those. And everything you guys need to know about scheduling it, also in the description box. So we're just going to pray and get right into it today. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my very beautiful Capricorn. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorn's energy. Now through the remainder of June, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Capricorn's energy now through the remainder of June, please. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on. Capricorn. Let's take a look here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the tower, okay? And we have the hair front and the judgment, yeah, okay? So, we have three major arcanas here. Um, this is a really pivotal moment. That's this energy that I'm feeling. You guys have a pivotal decision. I do feel like there is two energies here. Okay, aside from yours, Capricorn. Um, yeah, we got the Three of Swords, the Six of Cups as well. So, I'm just going to say it, Capricorn. I think you guys have a, are about to have a choice between two people, okay? Um, a current connection and one from the past is kind of how this is looking. You know, with the Mercury retrograde, it is really common for past connections to pop back up. Things that either need to be let go you know, or resolved, mended, okay, it comes back up for a reason, there's a purpose behind it, but I do see it is coming as quite a bit of a shock, and it's kind of, you know, shaking everything that you have going on with that tower moment, okay, tower is a very sudden and abrupt change, and I feel that, I feel like you guys were just going on, you guys had started to move in a new direction, you had the two of wands, the lovers in the reverse, the four of wands, and the king of wands so i think right here you know you guys have tried to move on from this past connection i feel like there was a disconnect between you and the past person okay with the lovers in the reverse this is somebody that you did have a very deep soulmate connection with especially with the six of cups being here um so this is somebody that you know you had a very deep bond with this is somebody that you guys shared a lot of love but i do believe there was a lot of pain involved with this connection as well with the three of swords um i'm feeling that this is somebody that you guys haven't been with or been in communication with for kind of a while we have the four of swords as well okay so i feel like it's been pretty stagnant here not very much communication i feel like you just started to move on Okay, move, take, chosen to take action in a different direction. With that king of wands, you know that you, you know what you bring to the table. You know what you deserve. You know what you want. Um, you want that loving connection. You want that four of wands connection. Um, you know, for some of you guys want to be able to build a home, a family. You know, you want that with somebody. You know, the two of wands, you've decided to take the next step to move forward. King of, King of wands, you know, taking action to go after the things that you want in your life. And I feel just, it's almost like just when you guys start to do that, you know, this past person is popping up for you. So we have, in the current energies, we have the King of Pentacles, the Six of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. Wow. So, yeah, this is really taking you by surprise, okay? Um... Like I said, with that tower, really taking you by surprise, you're really up in your head, eight of swords, really thinking about 
what to do here because you didn't see this coming. And I don't feel like, I feel like you really do see potential with this current person that you're dealing with because um, they're coming across as the king of pentacles here, okay? Um, this is somebody that you're like, I could really have that life with, that life that I want, that, you know, that marriage, that four of wands energy, that, you know, loving connection, that home, the family. Like, I could have that with this person. You're seeing the potential. And this is somebody that you know is very solid, very stable, very loyal, okay? Um, you know that you could have a lot of success with this person. makes you feel really confident and stable and secure in your connection. Um, you see this person as somebody who could give you the life that you want. Okay? You could have that life with. Um, but there are a lot of emotions tied to this past person. Um, some good and some really bad. I feel like it took you a long time to get over this past person, okay? Um, you had to really go through a lot to mend and to heal. And it's like just when you're starting to, just when you find somebody, you know, that you could really have something long-term and beautiful with, this person is coming back up. And that's always the way of it. Um, and now you have a major decision. Are you going to go with the lessons that you've learned? There's a, like, the hair fight represents lessons, and also represents, you know, it can be marriage commitments. You know, I'm feeling like a little bit of all of that. And the judgment card, you know, can definitely be a card of reconciliations, bringing something back to life. It can also be, you know, a card of a major decision. And I'm, I'm feeling kind of all of that energy here for you guys. Normally it leans a little bit more towards one or the other, but you have learned a lot of lessons. And I feel like you are trying to take that into account here with the decision that you choose to make. Uh, about what you're going to do. Are you going to continue on and go towards this person um, that you see the potential with, that you are content with, that you're happy with, you feel very confident and secure with, okay? Um, or are you going to, you know, say let the emotions overpower you? There are, you have a lot of love with this past person. Um, they are bringing up a lot of past stuff. So it's kind of this energy of, what decision are you going to make? I feel like the decision is up to you. Um, I do want to take a look at this person that's coming in. I want to take a look at their intentions and their actions, potential actions towards you. Show me the person that kept, that is coming in for Capricorn, this past person. What are their actions and intentions towards Capricorn? What are their actions and intentions towards Capricorn? Let's see which one's flipped over. One more. What are their actions and intentions towards Capricorn, please? From now through the remainder of June. So we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Devil, and we have the Six of Wands in the reverse. So I don't know why I'm really getting um, from, especially from this Seven of Cups and the Six of Wands combination. Even the devil card, it really feels to me, this energy feels to me, I'm trying to think of how to explain it. Um, it's no, they know that things can't work out with you. They know that you guys don't work. Um, they know it's not going to be successful with the six of wands being in the reverse. But it's like, even though they know you, they can't have you and it can't work out, they don't want to see you with anybody else. That's basically what it is. It's a very selfish energy. Um, I'm feeling a lot of toxicity. I'm feeling a lot of codependency. You know, this person feels very attached. Like, they don't want to see you with somebody else. They don't want to see you with their options open. They're very unsure and unclear about what they want. Even they just know they don't want you with somebody else. Um, it's a very selfish energy. Um, they don't want to see you move on. And that six of wands in the reverse really speaks of how they know that things aren't going to work between the two of you. They know that they, it can't. There's just been way too much. Um, they, they do know that. That's what their intention is. But at the same time, they don't care. They're still coming forward anyways um, because they don't want you to move on. And I feel like they either have found out, they've seen something, you know, that lets them know that you're, you know, leaving them behind, that you might be happy with somebody else. And, you know, they are really not willing to, they're not, they don't want to let you go. It's a very selfish energy. Show me the actions and intentions of the person that Capricorn is currently involved with, with the King of Pentacles energy. What are their actions and intentions towards Capricorn? What are their actions and intentions towards Capricorn? 
We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So, you know, they really want things to move forward with you with that Wheel of Fortune there. Um, I feel like they can see right now, or see, the, especially when this person comes in, they, there's a little bit of hesitation. They can see that. Um, but they know that you've been through a lot. They want to help you heal from that. They want to help you release from that, that Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is also somebody who's been through very similar things. This is somebody who's been through things before. They've been through you know, similar situations when it comes to love and romance. So I feel like this is somebody who's very understanding and, you know, they want to let go of all their past as well. Um, but they really want things to move forward with you. They want to see where things go. They know what they want when it comes to you and they're ready to go after. They're ready to take action. Um, but I feel like they are concerned about this. For some of you, I feel like you have been honest with them. I feel like or you will be honest with them, that they do know about this past person trying to come back in. And I feel like that is weighing on their mind a little bit with the King of Wands showing up. Um, but for others of you, you know, this person just really knows what they want when it comes to you. And they want to see where this goes. They want to move forward with you. So Capricorn, it looks like you got some major decisions. It looks like Mercury Retrograde is bringing in a visit from your past. Um, but it looks like this person just doesn't want to see you with anybody else. But let's go ahead and get some confirmations, clarifications, or advice for you. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, can we get some confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Capricorns, please? Let's see what we got. Beautiful. I like this for you. So we have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. So you don't have to go through this alone. I know Capricorns, you guys are very strong, and sometimes you guys like to not express what you're going through you don't want to tell anybody what your pain is or tell anybody you know that you're having a hard time you guys have a lot of pride in that way um and it's very admirable but don't be afraid to let people in don't be afraid to bounce your ideas or really express your feelings to somebody don't be afraid to let people help you okay there are people that care about you and want to help you so don't be afraid there's something about that some of you really need to reach out okay and remember that you're not going through this alone we have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And instantly when I saw this, it brought this expression to mind. Um, sometimes we have to do what's best for us and not necessarily what we want. And I know that for myself, when I have a hard time making a decision about something, I ask myself, is this what I want or is this what is best for me? Because my higher self, my soul always wants what's best for me, even if it may be difficult or maybe not exactly what I thought I wanted. Um, and maybe that's something that you guys need to ask yourself when making this decision. You need to love yourself enough to do what's best for you. Um, and then we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. That's a little bit difficult because we are dealing with more than one person. But um, I feel like deep down, you know, we all... I'm not a huge fan of words like that, twin flame and soulmate. Um, I, I'm not saying that they don't exist. I do believe that they do. Um, I just also believe that, you know, love is a choice as well. And... We can have a soulmate that is not the person that we're meant to spend our life with. I believe we can have many soulmates in a lifetime. Um, but I think that you really need to ask yourself what is best for you. And I do think that one of these, one of these people are. Um, and I feel like deep down you already know the answer to that. So my beautiful Capricorns, let's get your angel messages and see what messages your archangels have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my beautiful Capricorns through the remainder of June, what messages do you have for them? Let's get one more. What messages do you have for them? Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. So, yeah, sometimes that's all we need is to clear our head. Maybe going for a walk, spending some time in nature, doing some physical activity can really clear things up. It can help us think. It can make us feel good about ourselves, um, get us feeling a little bit more motivated, help us get through things. So there's something about that here for you guys. We have your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen. So what's meant for you is always going to be for you. Spirit's saying that whatever you're trying to manifest is happening and all you have to do is have faith. And you just have to know that it's coming. Um, don't try to force it. All you have to do is just know that what's meant for you is always going to be for you. 
and I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy, at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So this is going to be for somebody who's had somebody that has passed away on their mind a lot lately. If you've been thinking about a past on loved one, if you've been maybe hearing a song or something that reminded you of them, you know, this is a message for you. So guys, I if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. I know that it can be difficult when somebody pops up and shakes up all of our emotions and brings up things that we thought we'd heal from or that we're trying to heal from. Um, so if you really don't want to hear, hear from somebody, then make sure kitties are jumping on me if you really don't want to hear from somebody go ahead and block them so that you don't have to be in that position if you don't think that's something that you want to deal with um but otherwise just remember pray meditate and do what's best for you okay so i am sending you guys all kinds of love and light if it resonates please let me know in the comments down below and if it doesn't check out your other sign placements if you like the way that i read please like share and subscribe and guys if you hit that notification bell then when our monthlies mid monthlies and weeklies are uploaded you guys can be notified and you can go check them out so most importantly if you guys want personal prayers for any reason at all put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and i will go through and i will pray for you so I am sending you guys all kinds of love and light. Until next time.